Hi and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video and in today's video we're going to have a look at XRP. There's an awful lot going on. We're going to dig into some on-chain data regarding XRP wallets, some really interesting and significant information held within that. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video obviously on youtube and if you're watching on twitter why not give this a like and a retweet it's much appreciated right let's get down to the desktop Okay, so we're going to start here with the on-chain data aspect of things and something that really interests me, XRP wallets with over 100,000 XRP in has increased over the last year uh, by 21.13%. Uh, which is crazy and in the last six months that's 3.37 percent obviously this is our on-chain data a wallet uh, wallet analysis uh, on the cheeky crypto.io website you know there's a seven day free trial we have this for many different altcoins and btc so definitely worth going and checking that out we've got digital assets like xrp could challenge usd as the world reserve currency and this is according to ripple's cto david swartz and uh look i kind of align with this i think that there is a real push for us to have like a a, a one currency kind of situation and uh maybe you know xrp becomes more than just a bridge asset interesting sort of stuff and i'm going to share this in our discord which is free to join link in the description so go check that out but yeah look i think that there, there's definitely an element of possibility with this we got ripple cto break silence on paypal's py usd and this is uh, paypal's new stable coin we've got a tweet here and it's new paypal usd stable coin has a uh, asset protection role which can wipe your balance in two transactions first freeze the account then wipe freeze address uh, in smart contract security we call this centralized uh, centralization attack vector so really interesting david swartz has said nonsense centralization if i can talk today is that the real value of the stable coin is based on paypal being legally obligated to redeem it for dollars this mitigates the risk by helping to prevent innocent people from receiving tokens that paypal is not legally obligated to redeem so yeah, it's, it's interesting stuff and i i really do want people's take on this whole paypal situation and i think that paypal is a terrible company it's just my thoughts it's just my opinion and i i think that it's scary that they're going to have this stable coin and some of the features that they have knowing you know how they operate and uh, i can tell you some scary stories when it comes to, to to paypal stuff that would really question whether you would uh want to continue doing any sort of like business using their services so look interesting stuff we've got uh, gemini opens xrp deposits and trading uh following ripple labs uh partial victory lots of buzz around this and um the one thing that I have kind of put out on, on social media is don't forget that, you know, there's a lot of exchanges now relisting XRP, putting out really bullish, like supportive videos and, you know, marketing campaigns and stuff like this. Um, but I don't want people to be, you know, really quick to, to forget, you know, although these videos uh, appear on the face of it that they've been supporting Ripple this whole time that really isn't the case if they were really behind ripple why delist uh you know a non-security um i get it uh but you know i i just kind of feel like some of these marketing campaigns from some of these exchanges are, are questionable um campaigns just my opinion let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below xrp is not a security period crypto lawyers on ripple's case amid sec appeal uh, and again this is just you know lawyers 
going back and forth for uh, you know ab about xrp and whether it's a security or not and um again i will share this stuff um but look uh we've got the sec does not have right to appeal just yet which is why they're asking permission to file um this particular uh type of appeal that they've done ripple will file its response with a court uh you know with the court next week stay tuned so this is you know going to be really interesting stuff but my understanding is they're going to find it very very difficult to to overturn the decision i don't think there has been a decision like this overturned with this particular judge could be wrong on that um but you know it's just um you know what i've been uh hearing so interesting stuff uh, and uh yeah look i'm really excited about everything that we're seeing when it comes to xrp we have and i mentioned yesterday lots of institutional interest in um, investing in xrp but it's not just xrp you know it looks like institutional investment brings new momentum to the crypto space we are seeing lots of uh, positive talk when it comes to not just like xrp and, and certain altcoins but we are seeing an awful lot of positive uh, vibes from the likes of blackrock uh, microstrategy arc invest and many others i just wanted to name a few there so you know this is uh something that shouldn't come as a surprise are we in a, a bull market i don't think so i i do think that we're still got further downside i think you know the economy particularly in the us is is not particularly great we've seen a, a new record high for, for debt we've seen you know cracks appearing and uh i i do think that you know there is going to be a recession and i do think that when the fed pivots we're going to see some almighty crash um, you know, when it comes to, to stocks and crypto. So the, I'm keeping a little bit of money on the side, but, you know, I'm not naive enough to to not continue to dollar cost average on big pullbacks. So, you know, that is kind of like, you know, what we're, we're looking to do, right? We've had a, a fantastic uh, approach to investing within cryptocurrency that you know, worked in the last bear market, bull market. It appears to be working this, you know, this uh, time round as well. If it isn't broken, don't fix it is kind of my thoughts and opinions on all of that. We've got uh, Revolut to boost crypto team by 20%. This is despite the US exit. Again, more positive news and we're seeing more of this. Um, the other thing that I wanted to, to cover off and we'll just get rid of all of these was uh, HSBC blasted by experts after shooting itself in the foot over customer crypto limits. So look, there's an awful lot of banks limiting, um, you know, customers um, when it comes to you know fear as well as crypto, right? There's uh, a big approach to you know going um, cashless, um, you know, reducing o um, overdrafts, reducing um, you know ATM withdrawals uh, per day, uh, and all sorts of really questionable activity. Even like trying to withdraw money. Uh, of, of a reasonable size from your bank is becoming harder and harder every single time I go to do it. So um, yeah, look, there's a, a lot of companies, um, you know, basically giving these banks a bit of a hard time, and I think rightfully so. So yeah, look, more and more um, pushback on these banks is is what I think is necessary. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. We got UK crypto incentives ban could drive firms out of the country according to lobbyists so lobby group crypto uk called for more clarity from the sec on guidance for upcoming crypto ad rules the lobby group crypto uk said a planned ban on crypto incentives by the financial conduct authority the fca could drive business out of the country uh, the fca in june published new crypto promotion rules for the sector and a consultation on guidance the uk crypto lobbyist group said that you know the clarity on what counts as a qualifying crypto asset and financial promotion is probably something that is required a crypto industry group in the uk is concerned that the proposed ban on incentives could drive businesses out of the country and that is exactly what it's doing right like as a business owner in the crypto space nick and myself are deep into conversations about moving our business out of the uk and uh, you know these are the sorts of things that you're going to see more and more 
influencers doing more and more crypto businesses and you know it, for me that's a real shame because you know you you look at um the government and how they're trying to push you know this being the home of crypto and all that sort of bs that they've been saying this is the sort of thing that you know goes completely against that whole initiative so yeah i think we're going to see more and more of this unless the fca you know make a make a like a change to, to to what they're putting out or give clarity that makes it actually like a, a really easy to 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 abide by rule that doesn't impact business models negatively i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and i will catch you in the next one take care